So morning guys. So it's uh, just gone six o'clock and we're down here on the coast. Um, nearly 74 years ago there was an invasion of Leyte to free the Philippines from Japanese occupation. Um, and to commemorate that, the Philippine government built this memorial or shrine to the landing of Leyte by General MacArthur and the Philippine government. So, has some water features on the right hand side that aren't working. Little girl playing. This is the memorial for a fulfilled promise. I will return, I think he said, to General MacArthur, to the Philippine, people of the Philippines. It's a lovely day here today. I needed to get up early because yesterday it was just too hot for me to do anything. So, so a nice park. Over in the background, the yellow building is a McCarthy uh, coffee shop and lounge. Very, very impressive. Very emotional. Yes. Today is glorious. So, seventy four years ago, there was an armada of thousands of men ships, boats, tanks, all out there in the ocean with one goal, to free the Philippines. Amazing that this could be a battle zone. A stunning piece of history.
the punk. It stretches for about about a kilometer each way. Um, I'm going to go downtown and because there's a few other things I would like to see today uh, before I ride on. But they keep this park in Tacloban, they keep their parks nice, clean, not overgrown. There are places you can actually just sit down and chill out. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I said, it's a Monday morning and this is another monument. Fiftieth anniversary of the Lady Gulf Landing, in the spirit of recognition, peace, friendship, and economic cooperation. Very nice. Security guards in the background. Okay, I'm moving on guys. Oh morning guys, it's uh, 12 o'clock, I've just come to downtown uh, Takraban uh, and there's this beautiful, beautiful building. The architecture is absolutely stunning. That's oh, amazing. It's a Santo Nino shrine. They don't allow cameras inside, so I'm going to go and have a look around. Uh, but uh, not allowed cameras. So I'm just walking around the grass area. And this, this area is very, very nice. The building in the background is a Japanese uh, surplus store uh, and they have these guard, these grounds laid out. They are very, very nice. They're beautiful. Oh, look. It does amaze me how somewhere so hot can have so much greenery. But as I said, the building on the right is a beautiful building, but it's a Japanese surplus store. So I wasn't very impressed with that. Uh, they have some really, really old trees. This uh, survived the storm of uh, five or six years ago. And they have these lovely, lovely. That's beautiful work. Oh, stunning. That's stunning. Old water tower and the building. It must have been a colonial business building uh, in the past. It might have been a city hall, but the city hall was in my other video earlier on. So, yeah. Uh, and that's the smallest Gisano Mall I've seen so far. There he is in the background there. Okay. Anyway, guys, this is... Uh, the last tourist police. They're the ones that turned around and said that I wasn't allowed to use my... Uh, camera inside but it's the Santo Nino shrine so it's worth visiting I can tell you that it's very very nice fantastic artifacts beautiful beautiful layout nice and nice nicely cool not over cool but it's on the downtown side uh, going to the old town hall uh, on the AH 26 so, there we go. Beautiful. You can hear an alarm in the background. Very, very, very nice on a Sunday. Yes, just being a tourist. Okay, guys, take care.